Well, that time we got a chop block and we still get three people to come through clean. Are you struggling to stop the run? Be sure you check out Meister Madden for a full guide covering all the meta formations from iPhone close to Heavy Panther. What is up YouTube? Today I'm bringing you guys a really simple blitz. This is going to be a little bit different of a version of the 3-4 odd. We're going to be going into 3-4 even. Now there's something super glitchy about this in which you can have a strong safety, your starting strong safety, at the right outside linebacker position within packages. You can see SS at L. So if you go to packages two times to the left on the right analog stick, you'll be able to get a strong safety at the starting right outside linebacker. Now keep in mind that your second your second string strong safety will then be put in at starting strong safety. So hopefully that makes a little sense. So you guys can set your depth chart according to how you want to use this. So three, four, even. We're going to go into the pinch buck. Oh, now keep in mind there is a three, four odd version of this. There's a three, four bear. There's quite a bit. Quite a variety of pinch bucko, but we're gonna go into gun bunch. I'm not gonna say this blitz is unblockable because frankly, that would be lying. It's hard to block, but in gun bunch, pretty easy. Pretty simple. But to set this blitz up, you have to go in this order. First, you wanna blitz all linebackers, and then what you wanna do is you press. Now, when you press, you may have to press more than once. Like you can see the that one middle linebacker drops. You might have to press again and again, and you can see finally we get to set both middle linebackers to drop to the offensive line. So you're just gonna continue to press until you get both of them down. Sometimes it's the first press, sometimes it takes two, sometimes it takes three. The most I've seen is four, so just keep hitting that press button until they both drop down. It's pretty simple. Then what you wanna do right here, you wanna take your user, and you're gonna go ahead and do two things. You can either man yourself up to somebody or I'm gonna man myself up to running back or if you want three people to come through clean on a non-max non protected gun bunch, you can go ahead and blitz yourself to make it a little easier to bump the center. Realistically, all we're trying to do right here is just bump the center and allow three people to come in clean. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if we can get it done. If we don't, we get sucked into the offensive line, but you can see if we're able to block or to bump the center, we're then in turn to getting three people to come through clean. Again, blitz all linebackers, press, press, and just keep pressing until he finally drops down. Take your user. I'm going to go ahead and put myself on a quote unquote bluff blitz and just, well, that time we got a chop block and we still get three people to come through clean. Now, you guys are probably thinking, oh, there's a lot of routes open. Uh, yeah, yeah, there's quite a bit open right there, and it's just going to come down to if you can make the read faster. So, of course, you guys can make adjustments to that. But now let's go ahead and go into Max Protect. I'll show you guys a Max Protect gun button. So, Blitz on linebackers, press. You might just have to press a few times to get them to come down. You can see they finally do. And this time, we're going to go ahead and put ourselves in a, a Blitz, like always. And you see right there, we pick up the Blitz completely. But the nice thing is, not only are the sheds pretty good because you're sending such heavy pressure, you can then have four people out on the field in coverage. So you're free to adjust to your opponent's tendencies. And on top of that, your user's free to roam wherever he wants to. Now, of course, you could always bum rush the quarterback and go after a sack. But realistically, for the amount of pressure we're sending, eventually somebody's going to get home within a matter of just a couple seconds. So we'll do this one more time again, blitz all linebackers, press. You can see that time we only had to press once. Take your user right here. I'm gonna man myself running back. That's just out of habit. See if we can get these three to come in. That time we get two people to come in and we're able to drop into coverage. Now keep in mind when you're playing this aggressive, whether it be the three, four odd version of it, three, four bear, whatever it is, you're wanting to force your opponent into a max protect, preferably blocking seven. One great user was using this blitz when he was going against, I don't remember who it was, but he was in Y off trio week in the Saints playbook and he got him into max protect and just completely bagged that man alive. So with that being said, keep in mind this is really good for forcing people into max protect, then dropping your user and pretty much running wherever you think a man beater is going to be at and picking it off. This is not for somebody that wants to be a D-line user, this is not for somebody that's going to be using a linebacker. This is for people that are going to be using safeties. So we'll do it one more time again. Blitz all linebackers. Press, press. Sometimes you press once you get away with it. Sometimes you don't. Bring him here. Man up to whoever you want to. Try and bump the center. 
You can see that time we bump him, we get three people coming through clean. And of course they have people open, but realistically we're trying to force him into max protect, get the quick sack, and get the pick. So with that being said, that's gonna take care of this video. I'm not gonna do a lot of coverage behind this. There's a lot of things we have to worry about in Gun Bunch. But if you guys want me to talk a little bit about coverage, we can do so. If you guys are struggling to stop Gun Bunch, check out matchman.com. We've got a passing defensive ebook up there that covers tight formations, a little bit of spread, and we got a run defensive guide up there as well. If you want to pick up all that stuff and more, I mean a lot more, grab yourself a membership for $9.95 a month or $95 for a full 12 months, which carries over to when Madden NFL 21 comes out. So until next time, guys, get in the lab. This has been T-Meister. See ya.